welcome back to my channel today's video will be quick um, I will be sharing my tags with pockets that I made for a um, group swap for a Facebook group that I belong to um, hosted by Liz um, the name of the group is dream it imagine it create it um, she gave us a challenge to create several cards, um, tags with cards using the color themes that she had given us. The color themes were brown, black, yellow, orange, green, coral, and copper. My first tag with um, pocket will be my copper tag with pocket. I used copper colored trim as close to it that I could find. It flips up in this um, copper colored um, paper that I use, glitter paper. I then made a smaller tag and I've added a charm to it hanging from a dangle. And also incorporated that same paper back into the tag that I used on the pocket. That's the first pocket. We only had to create one tag, but most of mine, I think, have two, but not all of them. The next tag that goes along the copper theme pocket was the uh, paper I found with the horseshoes on it. The horseshoes are copper in color, and to tie it in, because to me, horseshoes represented good luck. I found several elements that I already had within my stash. Um, I found the number seven. I found a larger horseshoe. I found a tag that said Mr. Perfect. So I added this man in there since he's going to represent Mr. Perfect. <laughs> and I also found a, from my St. Patrick's Day stash, um, my goodness lucky part of gold like lucky charms <laughs> and a um and a beetle a ladybug so that right there this card <laughs> represents my copper card all right this card was too large to fit into my pocket that i made for all of my tags to go into so that way when they got shipped Hopefully, not too much damage would happen to them. So, um, I'm hoping that I will. It will make it there safely without getting messed up. My next pocket and tag will be my black tag. Again, I just use elements that I already had in my stash from items so I didn't have to go out and purchase anything. I used some flowers that I added stickles to the center of. Using a book that I had purchased from Maddie, Spectrum Art Creations, I cut out this dragonfly and I highlighted it also with the stickles. And then I added in some little flat back bling pieces to my black tag. I made, not made, excuse me, I added in a larger wooden dragonfly and I used some of my inks to color it in. I added in purple and I don't know how well it will show up here on the camera, but I just added in like purples and greens and orange inks and just to highlight it because dragonflies are colorful. And just like I did on the pocket, I added in some bling pieces to the card as well. Then I attached some black lace. So this right here represents my black card. Black pocket and tag. I'm sorry. Next up is my orange colored um, tag. I made this in such a way that if a person did choose to place this in a journal, it would give them the option of being able to put a page, insert a page there, so that way they could still attach it into a journal. I used orange, sorry, silk fabric along with some orange stars. I used my sewing machine 
to sew around the edges just with orange thread to highlight it out a little bit. I used some more of the flat back rhinestones to add a little bit of dimension to the bag along with some more of the um, um, stickles as well. I tried to choose a bag that represented the tag that I was making, which was vintage theme from Graphic 45's Vintage Hollywood Paper Line. This tag is predominantly orange and green. I used feather, I guess you can see it, feather um, trim with little bling pieces in between. I also use green trim down at the bottom with gold speckles throughout to highlight the green that's located throughout this card. I thought this was a beautiful choice to use for the orange theme tag and pocket. And then I just put a, I tied on some orange sorry silk um, in the eyelet. So this right here represents the orange. Next up is the coral theme pocket and tag. This is a beach theme. I used trim that looks similar to rope that you would find on a pier. I also added some gold bling rhinestone strips up underneath that to kind of sort of highlight it. I used some dried flowers that was coral and orange to also bring back in the coral theme as well. Inside is one pocket. And again, we only had to have one pocket and one tag, but some of mine have two. So inside is a pocket. I left this tag um, blank. So that way the person that receives this one could decorate it the way they wanted to. On the back of this one is also another pocket that they could put this tag in there if they so choose. Also, I have one more pocket with a tag in it or a bookmark if they wanted to use it as a bookmark. I use stickles to highlight the sand area to make it look like the little girl was um, letting sand sift through her hand and to highlight the bows and the other areas of the beach. And then on the back, is a postcard or a journaling spot where that person uh, can write on the back of it. And again, this is my coral one. Next up will be my brown pocket tag and pocket. I went with a music theme for this one because that was the color paper that I had. I had had this paper for several years. I had gotten it in a subscription box from, um, I think it's called the Paper Society from out of England, but at any rate, this was the paper that I had that was brown, so that's what I went with. Inside that kit, they already had this brown paper that looks like wood, hence like wood that you would find on your on some of your instruments. So I thought that brown tied in perfectly with the brown, the light colored coffee brown paper. I have a pocket right here. I don't have anything in that pocket, but the individual can, if they so choose, you know, to add a, um, a tag in there. I did put a, um, a tag over here in this pocket. I added in some music notes. I cut down some um, paper from an old book and glued it down in here along with the old music sheet and colored in the edges. I also sewed around the edges with some brown thread. Um, I could not find any brown sari or trim that I had in my stash, so Unfortunately, this particular tag already put an outlet in there, but it will not have a um, lace coming out of it because I did not have anything to match with that. So this right here is my brown theme pocket and tag. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is a little dry. <laughs> Okay, up next is my yellow tag. 
This one I already did a video on, so if you just check back on my channel, you will see the video that I did when I made this one. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna open it and just pull the tag out because again, I did the um, before and after on the video. So that's my yellow tag. All right, left in my pocket is only the green tag, I think, let me make sure. Yeah, it's only my green tag. So for this one, I used a bird and I um, got my brown stickles. And then I put like a little piece of straw or grass coming out of the bird's mouth just to give it some dimension, just to put some color there. My first pocket is going to be right here to the side. According to the guidelines that Liz gave us, the pockets and tags could be any size, shape. So I made a circle one. This is the first ever circle tag that I've ever made. I used my sewing machine to sew around with green thread. And then I used my well tail punch and I punched out uh, so a piece of the paper from this paper line to attach here. So this tag is blank. There's no, was well, technically no writing space, but the person can add on writing space if they so desire, or it could be used for a bookmark. In this pocket over here, I just added in some little, uh, I added in another little tag with a little writing space on the back of it. And I attached another little whale tail onto it. And then I put some tickets in there. Um, just, you know, for cuteness. <laughs> and oh, for decorations, um, I attached a tree branch that I had fussy cut out along with a page that I had cut. And a bird that I had fussy cut along with a bird nest. And that's it on the back. So... That's all for my pocket letters. No, excuse me, you're going to say pocket letters. I'm thinking about when I do my pocket letters. But all for my tags and pockets. Hopefully this video is not too long. Liz had also told us that we did not have to include any treats or anything. Because we shouldn't expect anything back, which I don't. But I did enclose some little embellishments, a bunch of little stuff that um, I have an overabundance of. Because if you have seen my other video on um, my goals, that's one of the things that I'm working on is trying to de-stash my stash by giving to others. So for the month of July, because this swap took place for the month of July, that's what I've done. I've given this person enough goodies that I would have given for two people. Then I'm going to give this person a bag of caramel apple filled Werther's Original and a bag of almonds. So, again, if you haven't already, please click on the like button and click on the red subscribe button and click on the notification bell. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.